Welcome to Stanford HealthCare's video series. I'm Lisa Kim. This being National Nutrition Month, what better time to talk about food and specifically diets, considering that half of us are on a diet at one time or another. And a specialist here to talk about that is Leah Gropo. She's a clinical dietitian with Stanford HealthCare. You, you've heard it all. I mean, we've heard about keto, paleo, Mediterranean. Yes. But the fact is that one diet does not fit all. Aside from those diets, what are some good nutritional tips you can give us? So, it's not always the most popular suggestion, but veggies at every meal. A lot of non, people don't like veggies, Leah. Non-starchy <laughs> veggies, oh, that hurts. Um, Non-starchy veggies, breakfast, lunch, and dinner. Get in the fiber, help keep you a little bit more full. Get all those phytochemicals, plant chemicals that help your skin, um, that help your heart, that help uh, your blood pressure, everything kind of work well um, and give you great longevity. So getting those in at every meal is great. I'm thinking about protein, whatever kind of protein you want. Keep me it to like a palm size or your whole hand if that's appealing to you. Um, and then thinking about your complex carbohydrates, so legumes and beans, brown rice, whole grains, things like that. And kind of having that whole picture is a really kind of a whole diet that gives you all the vitamins, all the minerals, all the energy um, that you need to kind of get through your day. Back to the grill. And we're lucky to have Jesse Cool with us today, a big proponent of clean, healthy eating, organic food, especially here in the Stanford area. I'll have you know that Jesse kickstarted this healthier menu here at Stanford Hospital. Why was that so important? I think before all of us knew that food is medicine, and the medical profession started realizing that possibly a lot of re the reason why some people are in the beds where they take care of us, that food has something to do with it. And it wasn't for a long time. So when I reached out to some of the people in my community, and this is my community, and said, can we do something with the food at the hospital, they were ready. So all we did was give people choices. We made sure that we did not take the french fries, the burgers away, but we got a clean grass-fed local burger. We kind of used the in and out model. We shifted the center of the plate, which is more vegetables, less meat. The meat was clean. All the ingredients had no pesticides, chemicals, um, artificial anything. And it made sense to everybody. And it was really spreading that message of food is medicine. Stanford has always been a place of innovation, cutting edge. And so for them to start listening to this small town girl, a woman who has been into clean food uh, for many decades, um, meant that they also were trying to pop out of their own box and think differently. Food is very much a part of healing, where it's grown, where it comes from. What the hospital is doing is what's going on in the rest of the world. Paying attention to food production and its impact on our own small and large community, and that's cutting edge. 